Hi, so this is the new Avengers trailer, which I'm going to show you if I haven't seen it already. But at the end, I'm going to raise two important points that I think will have a big impact on this movie and what's currently happening. God, it seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. <laughs> so that is the new trailer and there's two points i want to raise firstly the timing of this trailer now this trailer has been released on thursday which is the just two days before the second weekend of captain marvel now i think it's you know it's what any good business would do but what they've really shown to people is that if you want to enjoy endgame you have to you have to go and watch captain marvel so you know, they're presented that Captain Marvel is in Endgame, and if you want to understand Endgame and fully understand the character of Captain Marvel, you have to go to the box office this weekend and go and watch Captain Marvel. And that's very clever marketing, but it could also be, it, it does seem a bit suspicious. Did they know in advance, you know, perhaps even a week, a few weeks ago, a few months ago, that they were going to release this trailer at this point to give more emphasis and more publicity towards Captain Marvel? If they haven't, that could be like some sort of reaction where the, the they they're concerned. They can see there's the, the ticket sales are falling, which has been accusations of. For example, on Monday, it's believed the ticket sales fell around seventy percent. So if they saw that, they they put this trailer together very quickly over the last t you know forty eight hours and put this trailer out, even though they weren't planning to. That could be one argument. The other one is this point here, which th this is all obviously all pre planned out. For what this is, this scene here, this is for telling you as the watcher that you have to accept Captain Marvel because it's it's saying if you like Thor, if you're a fan of Thor and he likes Captain Marvel, that, that shows that Captain Marvel is acceptable. So it's kind of building a connection. And it's coincidental that you know they've taken one of the most popular characters as in Thor to accept Captain Marvel into the into the fold and they're gonna show you that scene. So it's all about almost telling you that you have to accept Captain Marvel because if you don't like Captain Marvel that also means you don't like Thor and it's very deliberate and many people have, cla have been claimed and, and been upset that Captain Marvel has kind of been crowbarred into the whole cinematic universe too late so just before Endgame you have this Captain Marvel movie come out this new character comes along and kind of takes all the acclaim takes all the credit for, ki for killing Thanos and that's what that's what's upset many people 
Whereas this scene shows that you know Thor likes Captain Marvel. So if you don't like Captain Marvel, that means you don't like Thor. You're disagreeing with Thor. So it's very clever psychology. It makes sense for them to do that, but many people are, are still feel this being like forced in. It's like the, this character Captain Marvel has come in and he's been forced. You've been you've been forced and told to like this character. So if that if they're going to continue doing that and the fans don't connect with that message. It could see this sort of more resentment towards Captain Marvel, where they don't want Captain Marvel, and that resentment spreads to the whole universe, the cinematic universe, where they, where they, you know, they're saying they can see that Thor is telling them that they have to like Captain Marvel because Thor likes Captain Marvel. So it, it's just this more of a, the character being forced into the situation. You know, why did they, why did they show this particular scene? Why not just show? Captain Marvel arriving, or Captain Marvel doing something else in the mind. Why have they sh chosen to show Thor telling us that he likes Captain Marvel? Now, also, it doesn't really explain why he likes Captain Marvel because she, obviously she didn't flinch. But that—that's like someone could do that temporarily. You can like stand up to somebody temporarily, but on a long-term basis, how strong are you? So this scene doesn't seem that genuine because it can be temporary you know you need to see somebody doing something on a long-term basis to fully appreciate how good or how poor they are or what you want them to do so it, it, it does come across a bit forced you know they continue to force captain marvel in and also the timing why release it two days before the second weekend so let me know your thoughts in the comments below um you know it's seen, it, it's, some of it seems completely fine some of it seems a bit suspicious let me know your comments below. I'm really interested to hear them. So thank you for watching. And I'll link to the trailers again if you want to watch it. I'm sure you've seen it many times. I've watched it about four or five times now myself. But let me know what you think in the comments below.